You'll be surprised how quickly Excel can find Pareto front in project risk management. In this video, we'll create and share a dynamic template in Excel with three easy steps. Identifying Pareto optimal solutions, plotting the Pareto front in Excel, and finding the best solution based on minimum distance to the ideal point. You can follow along by getting the Excel workbook via the provided link in the description below. Step 1 is identifying Pareto optimal solutions in Excel. Our case study focuses on a project where you are evaluating 25 project risk mitigation strategies. Each strategy has two main objectives, higher risk reduction and lower implementation cost. In this multi-objective optimization, our aim is to find the best trade-offs between risk minimization and cost of a strategy. First, we must select the data from risk reduction and cost columns. Then go to the insert tab and from the chart section, choose a scatter plot. We can customize the style to suit our project reports. Our diagram provides the first impression of what strategies are Pareto optimal when hovering the mouse pointer over boundary solutions that are superior to the rest of the solutions in our search space. For a quantitative investigation, we can duplicate our table and sort data by risk reduction percentage, which is our first objective. Select the risk reduction range and choose sort from largest to smallest and expand the selection. Begin at the top of the list and look for the lowest cost for each risk reduction level. For example, S19 and S20 on top of the list are Pareto optimal, but S5 is not. Because the cost is higher than S20, but risk reduction percentage is lower for S5. We can continue finding Pareto frontiers using this method. Step 2 is plotting the Pareto front. In multi-objective optimization, Pareto frontiers are the set of efficient solutions where no objective can be improved without worsening others. To plot the Pareto front in a separate part of your worksheet, create a new table containing only the Pareto optimal strategies. Right-click on the scatter plot and choose Select Data. In the dialog box, click Add and for series X values, select a column with risk reduction percentages. For series Y values, select a column with cost and click OK to add this new data series to our scatter plot. Then right click on the newly added data series and choose Format Data Series. Under Line Options, select Solid Line and check the box for a smooth line. You can adjust the color and style to make the Pareto Optimal graph suitable to your risk management report. Step 3 is finding the best solution based on minimum distance to the ideal point. The ideal point is a hypothetical solution where each objective achieves its best possible value. In our example, this is the bottom right corner of the solution space. The Euclidean distance from any solution on the Pareto front to the ideal point must be measured. An easy solution is to draw a line from the ideal point to each solution. Then calculate the distance as the square root of height squared plus width squared. You can find the height and width of the line from the drawing tools menu. The 13th strategy, or S13, has the minimum distance to the ideal point, which is the square root of 2.4 squared plus 2.9 squared. The second and third best strategies are S6 and S16. By minimizing this distance, risk analysts can identify mitigation solutions that are closest to the ideal. These solutions balance trade-offs between conflicting objectives of risk reduction and implementation cost. The distance provides a clear quantitative measure of how far each solution on the Pareto front is from the ideal point or best case. This simplifies the decision-making process by ranking Pareto optimal solutions based on their proximity to the ideal point and narrows down options. And here it is, an easy and short implementation of Pareto optimization using only three simple steps in Microsoft Excel. If you found this video useful, please remember to like and consider subscribing. I hope to have your comments and see you in the next one.